Hey guys, today I'm gonna to show you how to enable multi-lib on Arch Linux. So, um, let's see. So to enable it, we're going to edit etsypacman.conf. So let's do that now. Now I'm gonna paste this in here. Now I actually prefer VI, I'm just gonna use VI for this. You can use Nano if you like Nano. So we're gonna edit this and um, let's see. Multi-lib. All right, so right here. So we're gonna take these two lines and we are going to uncomment them, right? Now, um, multi-lib is generally used for, you know, running 32-bit applications on a 64-bit system. It's user for it's useful for running older games and things like that. Um, any case, it's a common thing people like to do. Um, but anyways, let's just write and quit. So we've saved that. So we basically uncommented two files for multi-lib. Now we're gonna run an upgrade on our system. So we're gonna say sudo pacman dash s y y u. Now we're gonna hit enter and let it upgrade our system. And hopefully this doesn't take too, too long. And there we go, that, that wasn't so bad at all. Now let's give it a try. Let's see if we can see some 32-bit uh, packages in the multi-lib repository. Um, let's paste this command in here, pacman-sl, grep for anything with lib32. And there we go, a bunch of 32-bit uh, packages. So that's pretty much it. So hopefully you found this useful or at least interesting, if nothing else. You might wanna give me a thumbs up um, you might want to hit that subscribe button also and uh, hit the little bell icon up, otherwise uh, YouTube's probably not going to let you know when we come out with a new video. Um, we do have a lot of great stuff coming up on, and we've actually, if you want to check our list of videos, we've already put out a lot of uh, pretty interesting things, some more interesting than others. Um, we cover a lot of great stuff, um, coding, servers, hardware, software, 3D printing, electronics, uh, single board computers, robots, networking all sorts of great tech related stuff that you're not gonna wanna miss. So if you, if you want your YouTube feed to uh, you know, be that much more interesting, you're gonna wanna hit that subscribe button. But more important than any of that stuff, you're gonna wanna leave a comment down below, especially if you know something that I don't know. Um, definitely let me know, not just for me, but for the next person who comes along and watches this video and reads the comments. Um, leave a comment that for them also. Any, any comments, questions, criticisms, whatever you wanna say, I probably wanna hear it. So do leave a comment down below. And uh, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.